In this video, I'm going to talk about an, another important operation within data operation called as filter array. Now, in my previous video, I have uh, did a small demonstration on taking the uh, input variable, which is in the form of an array. Okay, so if you see here, this is like a raw input, which my uh, control received, and I tried to mix and match the shape of the data you know now here i have four records right and i have three columns now i in the output i made four columns and with my own varying data type okay so if you see the output here it will show you the output as something different you know so i've changed the schema of the input variable i made the change here i made the change from location to country I added my own custom column i added my own custom column and a custom value so i did this uh, mix and match with a, a schema now the input which i received was four items now here also i've received four items but what if i want to just receive only say two items or i want to filter based on say some parameters say country australia okay if i, I just want to show only country australia record then how do i do what so for that what you need to do is you need to make use of some different action so let me edit this flow and let me add a new step called as filter array which comes under data operation and if you see the description it says just filters the array okay so you need to put in an array and then it will filter out those array so let's see if it can filter out the array now the filter array is coming from the select okay so i'll just select and see and from a choose a value if a value now if you see a dynamic value from here can you see the value coming from this output no right you can just get an output from here so let's say if i something like this formula okay so i need to first make use of formula and then let's see if this works okay if i put this and i think it was a uh, country okay item country and then save it let's say that's country yeah looks like it's country is equal to australia And if I save this, let's see if this works. I'll give it a test. Run the flow. If things work out fine, then I should be able to get only two records over here because what it is filtering out, it's based on the country Australia. It receives four input. It receives four input and the output you have seen here is just two so what it has done it has taken an array it has filtered out based on some condition and the condition i have defined based on the input value so if you see the flow what it has done is it has taken this field say country and filtered out okay so if you see here in the expression i've written item of country so for pick up that field and if it is equal to Australia. Now, if I say if it is not equal to Australia, then it will return me the other two result. Okay, so let me run that and show it to you. So I'll test this. Run the flow, click on done. And if things work out fine, then in the filter array, I should see the value not of location or country as australia now here it is showing new zealand and fiji so that means our flow is working fine so in a nutshell uh, what filter array does it it takes an input of an array now that array can be uh, say with the help of select you can change the shape or the schema of the array but using filter array you can go one step ahead and then you can even reduce the amount of record so filter is basically used to filter out uh, the data so that will help you in only focusing on the relevant set of records for processing 
uh, based on your uh, business logic okay so that's it folks this is all about filter array thanks for watching